look at this question is from IDG 2009 I guess paper 1 okay IDG advanced paper 1 2009 so uh, we have to match the columns right in column 1 some relations are given in column 2 situations have been provided okay we have been given five situations P Q R S and T so we have to match the column 1 with column 2 right now Generally what we do is we read something in column 1 then we try to match them with column 2 but here we will go in reverse. We will read something in column 2 and try to match it with the conditions given in column uh, 1. Okay. So first of all let's start with uh, this first option over here P. So it says that block Y of mass M left on a fixed inclined plane X slides on with, with a constant velocity. So here actually we have block Y. This is your block Y. It is sliding on the inclined plane X with constant velocity. So for this situation, we have to see which of the options are correct. So first over here, first of all, since it is sliding with constant velocity, that means net force should be zero. Okay, net force should be zero. So option A says that the force exerted by X on Y has a magnitude mg. Let's see. So we are looking at P. Okay, so gravity is acting downwards mg. Now, since the net force of the block is zero because it's moving with constant velocity, so the inclined plane should also apply a net vertical force mg. Although inclined plane is applying normal force and friction force, but the resultant of normal and friction force will be equal to mg. Okay, so the inclined plane is applying force equal to mg. So P has option A correct. So I can write down over here A. Then uh, the gravitational potential energy of X is continuously increasing. No, X is fixed. So energy of gravitational PE of X is not changing. Then mechanical energy of the system X plus Y is continuously decreasing. Is that true? So that will be true. Why? Because like I told you, here actually the inclined plane will be applying friction force and normal force. Correct. The resultant of friction and normal force is equal to mg. Right, but friction force is still there, right? And friction force will be kinetic because the block M, M is uh, sliding downwards. So kinetic friction means what? The system is losing energy in the form of heat. So this is correct. So for uh, uh, P, we also write down option C as the correct answer. Now finally D, the torque of the weight of Y about point P is zero. So uh, Weight of Y means Mg is acting over here and this is your point P. So Mg downwards and there's some distance over here. So obviously torque will not be zero. So D is wrong for P. Now we come to Q. Two rings, two ring magnets Y and Z each of mass M are kept in frictionless vertical plastic stand so that they repel each other. So here you have a ring Z, here you have a ring Y. Okay, they are kept in this vertical tube. Y rests on the base of X and Z hanging in air in equilibrium. So this ring is resting on the block X over here. P is the topmost point of the stand on the common axis of the two rings. The whole system is in the lift that is going up with constant velocity. Again, the system is going up with constant velocity. So now what is happening here? So for Q, I have got two rings. This is my first ring and this is my second ring. Okay. Uh, ring Z and Y. So this is ring Z, this is ring Y. And I have the block X. Okay. X and Y are in contact. So let's apply the forces. So Y is experiencing MG downwards. Z is also experiencing MG downwards. Okay. But Y and Z are also repelling each other. So here we have force F of repulsion. Right. Then Y and X are in contact. So we have normal force N. So these are my forces acting over here. Now, for uh, what does the question say that the system is going up with constant velocity? So because of constant velocity, net force should be zero. Okay. So for Z, F equal to mg. For Y, N equal to F plus mg. So that is 2 mg. And so we found a normal force over here. Correct. So now let's again compare the options. The force exerted by X on Y has a magnitude mg. 
Force exerted by x1 y is normal force and normal force is not equal to mg. So A does not relate to Q. The gravitational potential energy of x is continuously increasing. The whole system is going up in a lift. Okay, so x is rising upwards. So obviously its gravitational energy is increasing. So option B is correct for Q. Mechanical energy of the system x plus y is continuously decreasing. Now see, there is no friction involved over here. Uh, like uh, relative to each other, they are in equilibrium. In relative motion, they are in equilibrium. So their relative energy is constant. And together, together they are going upwards. So the gravitational energy of the system is increasing. So mechanical energy is also incre uh, increasing. So but this is saying decreasing. So this will be wrong. So C is not correct. Then the torque of the weight of y about point P is zero. So this is your point P over here and force on Y is acting downwards mg. So this force is directly passing through point P. That means torque is zero. So D is correct. So we write down D. Now finally we come to R. Very lengthy question. So a pulley of pulley Y of mass M0. Okay, let me draw the question first properly because it's not given correctly. So here I have a pulley Y of mass M0. And then I have a block over here. So now it says pulley Y, this is your pulley Y of mass M0 is fixed to a table through clamp X. Okay, so there's a clamp over here which is called as X. A block of mass M hangs from a string that goes over the pulley. This block is mass M hanging from the string. Okay. And it's fixed at point P on a table. So the string is fixed on a table. The whole system is kept in a lift that is going down with a constant velocity. Again, velocity is constant. Let's write down over here. Velocity is constant. So let's draw the FBD first again. Okay, so first of all, the clamp X, nothing is given about it. So we just assume that it's an ideal clamp of uh, negligible mass, zero mass. Okay, so or even if you don't assume it, doesn't matter. So let's first write down. This is R. Okay, so this is my clamp x okay this is my clamp x and this is a pulley y right and i have a block m also i have a block over here of mass capital m then tension t t over here t over here okay then a force f applied by the blocks a block uh, by the uh, clamp x and pulley y on each other Okay, so this is my FBD and obviously then I have MG downwards, right? Now the question says that the system is going down with constant velocity. So T is equal to MG, T is equal to MG, MG, MG. Now for the net force to be zero, F should act at 45 degree with horizontal and F will be equal to MG root 2. F will be equal to MG root 2, right? F will be balancing both these tensions, right? So X component of F is balancing T, Y component of F is also balancing T. So net force uh, should become zero and F will become equal to mg root two. Now, let's compare the questions. So the force exerted by X on Y has magnitude mg. Obviously, no, we just calculated. Correct. Gravitational potential energy of X is continuously increasing. Now, let's say that X has got some mass. Nothing is given, but let's assume X has got some mass. So this particle X is uh, the clamp X is going downwards. According to question, it is going down. So its gravitational energy should decrease and not increase. So B is also wrong. Mechanical energy of the system X plus Y is continuously decreasing. So X and Y, uh, everything is going downwards. So energy is decreasing. So option C is correct. So we will write on over here. C. Then. Torque of the weight of y about point P is zero. So mg is acting over here. Gravitational force on m, uh, y, pulley y is acting over here. And this is some distance away from point P. So it will apply some torque. R into mg, m not g will give you the torque. So torque is not zero. So d is also not correct. Now we come to s. A sphere y of mass m is put in a non-viscous liquid. This is a sphere y of mass m put in a non-viscous liquid. X, the liquid is x, kept in a container at rest. The sphere is released and it moves down in the liquid. So, 
since the uh, container is at rest there is no other pseudo force involved y is going downwards so for s for the situation s this is your sphere y okay gravity is acting on the sphere mg downwards then liquid will apply band force upwards okay now since the uh, sphere y is going downwards okay that means density of y is either greater than or equal to density of x also the question says that the liquid x is non viscous that means there is no viscous force involved now uh let's look at the option first the force exerted by x on y has a magnitude mg force applied by x on y is actually the buoyant force over here okay and buoyant force may or may not be equal to mg because we don't know the relation between their densities we only know that density of y can be equal to x or more than x if the two densities are equal then b is equal to mg but we are not sure whether they are equal or not right so we cannot say b is equal to mg so option a is not correct gravitational potential energy of x is continuously increasing is that true let's see now try to understand something let's draw the liquid over here so this is my liquid let me erase these forces we don't need them anymore so this is your liquid over here correct now here i am taking a small sphere of the liquid okay this is the sphere of the liquid only i am just drawing it separately to uh, highlight it okay this is a liquid only nothing extra this is your liquid only now the sphere y is over here liquid is over here okay when the sphere y comes down when the sphere y comes down the liquid has to go up okay so the sphere y and the liquid will interchange their places as the sphere y comes down correct right now y is occupying some space of the liquid so as y goes down that space is now occupied by the liquid okay and here the liquid is uh, again there is no liquid over here here we have cavity of the liquid which is occupied by the sphere and the cavity which was earlier present over here has been occupied by the liquid so essentially this sphere as y goes downwards oops as y goes down this sphere will keep on rising so some part of the liquid is continuously rising up okay that means the gravitational energy of the liquid is continuously increasing okay so this option c will uh, sorry option b will be correct so we can write down over here that b is correct for us now mechanical energy of the system x plus y is continuously decreasing now understand something there is no viscous force involved that is there is no force to dissipate energy of the system viscous forces and frictional forces they remove energy they convert energy into heat since there is no viscous force there is no uh, no conversion of energy of the system into heat so the energy of the system remains constant okay it is not decreasing so option c will be wrong torque of the weight of y about point p is zero so due to y gravity is acting over here it is some distance away from point p so torque will be non zero so obviously d is also incorrect now a sphere y of mass m is falling with its terminal velocity in a viscous liquid x kept in a container now we have terminal velocity that is the liquid is viscous the liquid is now viscous let's take it over here so we have gravity downwards buoyant force upwards and viscous force f upwards okay so b plus f is equal to mg because we have terminal velocity we have terminal velocity and buoyant force is applied by the liquid viscous force is also applied by the liquid so this is the total force applied by the liquid okay so now the force exerted by x on y has a magnitude mg true b plus f is equal to mg so a will be correct we can write down over here for t a will be correct then 
ग्रेविटेशनल एनर्जी ऑफ एक्सेस कंटिन्यूसली इंक्रीजिंग सी जस्ट लाइक आई गेव द एक्सप्लेनेशन फॉर क्वेश्चन एस दैट द लिक्विड स्फेयर द स्फेयर ऑफ द लिक्विड इज कंटिन्यूसली राइजिंग अपवर्ड्स सो द ग्रेविटेशनल एनर्जी ऑफ एक्सेस इंक्रीजिंग बी इज करेक्ट मैकेनिकल एनर्जी ऑफ द सिस्टम एक्स प्लस वाई इज कंटिन्यूसली डिक्रीजिंग सिंस इन द क्वेश्चन वी हैव वेस्कस फोर्स इन मॉल्ड व्हिच इज कन्वर्टिंग द मैकेनिकल एनर्जी ऑफ द सिस्टम इनटू हीट सो द मैकेनिकल एनर्जी विल एक्चुअली डिक्रीज सो ऑप्शन सी इज आल्सो करेक्ट सो बी एंड सी आर करेक्ट द टॉर्क ऑफ द वेट ऑफ वाई अबाउट पॉइंट पी इज जीरो वेट ऑफ वाई इज एक्टिंग ओवर हियर इट इज सम डिस्टेंस अवे फ्रॉम पॉइंट पी सो टॉर्क विल बी नॉन जीरो सो डी इज नॉट करेक्ट सो फॉर टी वी हैव ए बी एंड सी Okay